this person is drunk. Don't be drunk on the road. Good morning, everybody. We're off. We're going to Kansas. We have a wedding. And my drive, my Woo! wife's driving kind of crazy. That's okay. Oh, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I think it's the 20th today, June 20th, and we are headed out of town to go to a, a really good friend's wedding this weekend in Kansas, so we got like a little bit of a vacation. And uh, you know, when we think about recovery and we think about this program, of we were thinking about what we can give back, right? Because a lot of times in recovery, we're not getting much in if we're not giving back. So that opportunity could arise at any moment where you're asked and God's will for you is to help somebody somehow. So remember that when you're going through your day and you see somebody down and out or you know somebody that's still sick and suffering because you know, there are a lot of people out there that need a hand up. They need a hand up. They don't need a hand out. They need a hand up. So we need to help them get up and out of whatever situation they're in and they need to help themselves too. But a lot of the time people in early recovery are looking to somebody, a leader, an example that they could use or they can emulate or they could try to, you know, seek after and and that's what we got in each little community of recovery people that are willing to do that so hey step up today and I am going to give you guys the message in just a few minutes but I'm hoping our trip goes well um, just waking up about an hour ago it's only eight o'clock so we got ten yeah we wanted to leave earlier but uh, I was a little tired had a long week and but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Kansas, so expect a lot of pictures, expect a lot of videos, not a lot, but hey, maybe we'll do a live stream along the way if I get bored on the road, but I want you guys to know that recovery is just so important to, to some of us, and living it out is even more important. So if you see somebody that needs a hand, give it up, you know, give it out, give it down. However, to help that person out, is it's, it's up to us in that moment. So hey, I encourage you and implore you to be positive today, be safe and sober out there, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hey everybody, welcome back. So here is our June 20th recovery reading for today. And this is a, a profound one for me because I love this one. I love giving back, service, it's great, 12th step. You should be ready and willing to carry the AA or recovery message when called upon to do so. Live for some purpose greater than ourselves. Each day you will have something to work for. You have received so much from this program that you should have a vision that gives your life a direction and a purpose that gives meaning to each new day. Remember, ODAT, one day at a time, my friends. So let us not slide along through life. Let us have a purpose for each day and let us make that purpose for something greater than just ourselves, amen? So what is our purpose for today? What is it gonna be, guys? Meditation for today, June 20th. To see God with eyes of faith is to cause God's power to manifest itself in the material world. God cannot do his work because of unbelief. In response to your belief, God can work a miracle in your personality. All miracles happen in the realm of personality and are all caused by and based on belief in God's never failing power and his love for us, huh? Wink, wink. But God's power cannot manifest itself in personalities unless those personalities make his power available by their faith. We can only see God with the eyes of faith, but this kind of seeing, you see, produces a great change in our way of living. So maybe instead of personalities, we can look at our spiritual senses or our spiritual wisdom. But yeah, our spirit. I love it, you guys. So today I pray that I may see God with the eyes of faith, and I pray that seeing will produce a change in my spirituality. Okay? Love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.